Sometimes when filming a tutorial, things happen that weren't supposed to happen. Sometimes playing live, things happen that wasn't supposed to happen. And it's best that we do what we can to prevent those things from ever happening again. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you what happened to me last week when I was using MK Sensation on my iPhone 5S. So make sure that you don't do this. <music> All right, and so, um, wow, that's the first time that ever happened, so, wow, um, oh, wow, um, you definitely want to be careful when doing that. Wow. Um You wanna make sure that you don't overload when playing, nah. Alright, um Let me do that again and see if I get the same result. Uh. Alright, so you can see it has its um It's not perfect. The Contact 5 version is better. But if you um be careful how you use it, you shouldn't have anything to worry about. Yeah. So yeah, that's what happened. You want to make sure, at least on the iPhone 5S, that when you're using MK Sensation, you don't have too many sounds selected and you don't hit too many notes while the sustain pedal is held down. So just want to make sure that you have an iPhone 5S. I can't speak for the other iPhones, but I can tell you this. If you have an iPhone 6 and higher, I would like to see how your phone operates using MK Sensation. I think that the people want to know, everyone that's watching this video, because it's very important. Before you um, get MK Sensation, like you might want to say, "Hey, I don't have this much money to get the iPhone 7, you know, or the uh, what is it, 7s." You you might want to um, get something that's you might want to get the like the lowest until you can save up to get you know the higher you know the highest iPhone that they have out because you know the higher 
you know, the more powerful it is. Me, I would rather get the iPad Pro and start using all of these sounds than, you know, using the iPhone 5S. Because I haven't been using the iPhone 5S. I only use it for these videos so I can show y'all how to work this, you know, stuff on it. But, um, yeah, you can send me videos of your experience and I can use it to help everybody here on the YouTube world. That'd be great. And uh, when it comes to MK Sensation, um, I think I'm done. Unless anyone else has a question. If you do have a question, please first hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell. Give me a like. And let me see what else. Oh, yeah, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter because I will be posting stuff on there to keep you updated as to what video I will be doing next. So, um, even though we're, I think, yeah, we're done with MK Sensation. I think that, um, actually, yeah, yeah, VGSG's IKS-20, that's up next. So if you love MKS-20 sounds, yes, VGSG's IKS-20 sounds for the BS-16i app on the iPhone and the iPad, that's going to be coming up. And then also VGSG's IKS-20 sounds Motif Edition for the Motif XL. You can also get those sounds on the Mo XL. But, um, yeah, that's definitely going to be what's up next. I can't say that it'll be next week or the week after. I can't say yet, but that's why you follow me on Instagram and Twitter because I can keep you updated on that if you have any questions or want to know about that. I'm just preparing, getting ready to play some songs using these sounds. These sounds are awesome, man, I'm telling you. Piano 1, Piano 2, Piano 3, the EP1, EP2, you know what I'm saying, with chords and like, wow, like, just stay tuned. Matter of fact, no, 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 I'm not going to say that, no. I ain't going to end the video like this. I'm in it like this. Stay subscribed, stay notified, and I'll see you next time. I'm Marcella Selden, and I'm out.